Hey everybody and welcome back to my dream machine and welcome back to Creative Kiwi. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we're going to make a really cute coaster, Halloween coaster. And I'm showing you all the things that we need, a little bit of fabric. It's kind of like a scrap buster one and it works really easily. Now I am using charm squares and it's a pretty tight fit. So I improvise. I like to live on the embroidery edge. So I put the batting on the back so I can see how to set up the charm square. It's a little bit close for my comfort, but I pulled it off, so I'm kind of happy with that. It does, without the batting right behind it, it does make it a little bit flatter. I didn't mind for this coaster. I thought it looked fine. So once you put the batting and the fabric down, it's going to do these gorgeous gorgeous um, quilting stitches and which looks fantastic you can leave them out all you have to do is skip them at the machine and uh, because my fabric is kind of busy I pondered I couldn't decide whether to leave the quilting stitches out or not now for the next one I chose um, the spider design and the spider is in the shape of eek and I love it I thought it was really cute so for mine I just stuck with just regular black thread but I think it would be really cool with a lighter stitch on the back and maybe like a purple, the Halloween purple for the spider. Personally, I've never seen a purple spider, but I've never seen a spider that spells out eek either. So we could be a little creative on that one. But I really like the design. I thought it was really cute. And this is a really simple and easy design, coaster design to do. There's a whole set of them. So there's different Halloween things. And I really like it. I started off with the spider because I just thought it was so much fun. So we're almost done stitching the spider spider and it's just about time to get trimming. Now because I improvised a little bit I, I ran into a little bit of an issue for the backing so what I decided to do is simply cut off the um, batting first put it back on my machine then when I tuck my fabric on I can actually see and it made it a lot easier but again I'm living life on the embroidery edge and I kind of pushed it you can see how close I am to it. I just thought hey I've got charm squares might as well use them so once that is done everything is stitched down trim out everything now if you're doing it the way the instructions are saying you would be trimming the top and the batting and then turn it over and do the back now at this point try to make it as neat as possible and trim up any little mistakes that you've made or it's not quite close enough and then put it back on the machine. Now we're going to do the zigzag stitch which is going to nicely hold everything together and at this point too you can double check to make sure that you've trimmed closely enough um, so that the satin stitches will cover it. So that's what it's doing right now, the satin stitches for a nice edge. And we are using water soluble stabilizer. So once this is done, we can just take it off the machine, use a little bit of water to get rid of the stabilizer, and it absolutely looks perfect. So it's a fun little thing to do. What a beautiful set you could have if you had some charm squares that matched and different colors or do them all the same different designs with the same background. You can get really creative and you can get a lot of these done in a short time. And they are perfect for decorating for Halloween or giving as gifts because they're so quick and easy to do. And I really like the words in the animals or in the designs. I thought it was really cute. So I finished stitching it now I'm gonna pop it out of the hoop and uh, trim up the water stop soluble stabilizer now trim it close but not too close we don't want to cut those satin stitches so that's it look how gorgeous it is thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video